So on these Jack Daniels guitars, I've installed, I don't know, 35 Bigsby, something along those lines. And getting them right is a little bit tricky and I wanted to show you guys a couple of pointers. In one of my videos, I was using this Craftsman Laser Level and as I got through about another 10, I realized this wasn't good enough and I wanted to show you a trick I found. So getting the laser level straight across the bridge was fine. Really helped me line up against the center of the nut, through the fretboard, through the center pickup. But the problem I was having is that this distance, there's no center line marker so there's a center line between the two posts here, but I was having a lot of trouble transferring that across to here. So I've been doing is using some string. So I'll wrap the string around the Bigsby like this. I don't know if you could see it. So I'll go under, wrap it around, get it tight, and then I clamp it. The big fat clamp. I'll come through, tighten up the string now. Got another clamp on this side. I'll then clamp the strings down. I'll clamp the strings down so that they're in the nut slot here. I'll come back to center slightly. I'll begin to play then with this and make sure that I am have the right tension, I've got the right spacing, plop the bridge on. We'll get that bridge on. We'll line up the strings. Make sure you have your pencil handy. What you're looking for is the strings to be on the outside of this, on the very outside of the, I don't even know what this is called, the tension bar. So I know I have a center line running through here. I'm looking pretty good there. I've got the strings lined up. This looks like I've got a straight pull. Maybe move it over just slightly. What's nice about doing this is you can pick up the string and sort of move it and see. So here I'm off my nut. So as you move it back and forth here, you can see how much play and where you get a straight pull. So it looks like I've got a pretty straight pull through here, through here. Play with it just a little bit to make sure. Could turn it maybe just slightly down this way. So I'm right here and right there. This looks pretty good. So I'll take my pencil, I'll draw out the hole for the back two, which I'll screw in first, and then I'm done. I've got a punch. Punch that down. Drill it out. And I can screw it in. What I like to do since I'm drilling into oak is run a screw through 
I've noticed I've broken a ton of screws because oak is way too hard. So that's it. I'll put my felt back on from after I age this and screw this in. One other trick with the Bigsby that I've learned is put this on the ground and stomp it down about 20 times. Just sort of break it in. And I always use the spacer because you never know what your client's gonna want. So I put it in, if they wanna take it out, that's fine. But at least it's there on the Bigsby. You do have the option of going in here and changing this. I usually don't do that, usually it's set pretty good. But we'll put this on the ground, we'll step on it 20 times, and then I'll be done. So just a quick tip for you guys, setting up a Bigsby, make sure you've got a string, make sure you're centered with the laser level, and that string helps you get just that 64th right uh, as you're setting up your guitar. So thanks for watching guys, we will see you in the next video. One of my videos I had been using, in one of my videos I had been using this laser level and that just wasn't good enough.